Oh, boys. Boys and girls. Ladies, gentlemen, and days and thems. <sighs> we got the battle of the century here. I mean, you've seen Kong versus Godzilla. You've seen Thanos versus the Avengers. You've seen Jesus fight a cross. But my God, and by God, you are not going to believe some of the shit here. Logan Paul versus Tommy in it bruv now i wasn't too familiar who tommy in it was um after reminding myself he was a minecraft youtuber for children i realized this is not my demographic fair play to him he's got millions and millions of subs he's doing very well for himself and even better he just absolutely tore logan paul a new bum hole it might have been like that i don't reckon he's you know 100 percent like that it was like that now it's like two hands you know what i mean he's been fisted so Let's have a gander. So, uh, Logan Paul leaked basically some naughty DMs, which is just scumbag behaviour, you know what I mean? Um, terrible, you know, like private DMs between um, him and that. L um, Tommy then sent him messages years ago, whatever, 2023, you know, destroy him, Logan. You have Timmy's full support. Thank you, boss. Hey, Logan, hope you over. I was fucking awesome to watch. I'm just wondering if you're around soon for a call. I'd really love to learn some more. So he's basically licking his ass cheeks and making it clean and he got ignored so it's like you know one of them the incredibles dude who gets told to fuck off and then becomes the big bad villain basically is what's happened here so logan paul and then tommy tweeted if the same week i had a daughter i also lost beef to tommy in it i would kill myself which is probably valid isn't it i would also shoot myself but why did this stem i should have started with that so tommy in it posted this which right is absolute scumbag and disgustingery and to logan paul to even come back and say that i mean 319 likes versus a measly five you know what i mean like pathetic he put prime sponsors prime ads in the gaza conflict because everyone's going to be interested in gaza and what the fuck's happened over there he didn't like it so he then posted his leaked dms which is just stupid i mean what's that got to do with anything he was just pointing out you're a rat and a scumbag and you just further cemented that positioning so well done logan paul you big roid ed don't ever pretend he's not on roids whatever he says he's a fucking nutter so then logan paul tweeted and called him a lemon, which is a bit confusing. You know, in, in English culture, you call someone a lemon when you're joking. You know, you might work with someone, you really want to slap him, you're like, this guy's a fucking idiot. But instead of doing that, say, oh, you lemon. It's an English cultural term. Logan Paul decided to then tweet about an apple. I mean, is this some sort of like innuendo special YouTuber secret that we're not involved in? Did he maybe shove an apple in his bum bum? Did he maybe just eat an apple spinning on his head while flicking Logan's balls? We don't know the answers. We can only get our theories in, and I think that one's pretty good. And then he also t tweeted a, uh, a Satsuma, an orange, whatever you want to call it, something orangey, zesty. Um, maybe he's referring to the zest now, I've said it out loud. Maybe he is. Hmm interesting mr bond so we tweeted that and then the best part is so logan paul just you know released all his private messages because you know I, and i don't blame tommy for doing this you know even anyone you know i don't like logan paul and i respect what he's done you know he's a very successful man what have you whatever but you know if a youtuber with millions and millions of followers is you know your friend and he's in your phone and you're not going to try be nice to him and try boost your audience or at least try gain some expertise because believe it or not logan paul does have some knowledge whether it's you know easy to understand and you know it's covered by dumb shit that he does like filming dead people so he then tweeted this you know why do you keep uh, Tommy's lashing out because I've been neglecting him. Sorry, I didn't chill with you, buddy. Um, and then Tommy put, why do you keep posting private messages to me or being kind to you? Are you stupid? Which is fair enough. I mean, all he's doing is just showing, oh, he's like a fan like the Incredibles dude. Like, dude, he's just simply a guy trying to better his audience. Don't mistake it for someone who wants your balls in his mouth. Like, come on, Logan, you're, you're not that thick, are you? But yeah, Logan, Tommy, well played. Low gang. Low gang. You have Tommy's full support. Thank you. But you know what I mean? It's just a bit of glazing. You know what I mean? He, he's a, he's one of the biggest YouTubers. He's one of the biggest media people in the whole world. You know what I mean? And this links nicely into KSI and Dan TDM. KSI has, uh, you know, been getting rinsed and Logan Paul and Mr. Beast because they're just selling anything for the sake of selling it these days. And that's fair enough. I appreciate that. But, you know, just a nice little, we'll just intervene. Dan TDM's living the life. I've never been a huge fan, but it's great to see that this guy, KSI, can be pissed off and 
this, that and the other about some shitty cardboard in a box with some processed cheese that you're selling to kids. Like, holy shit, you are Jesus incarnated. You must, you know, God levels. He just posted and said, this is just shit. You what's happened to people. KSI's not left him alone. Like, a gnome stalker just hanging around your garden and a lot leaving. You know what I mean? KSI's knocking in the windows like, still here, bitch. Keeps tweeting nonsense that gets, you know, two likes. And he got 560k. You know what I mean? Like, who's winning here? I think sometimes you've got to know that. And then Logan Paul obviously gave birth, or more correction, his wife did. Um, but what was his role in the matter? To take a, po- a photo and throw some lunch leaves in, and of course. I mean, if you, you think he's going to be feeding his baby lunch leaves, that wife needs to be locked up if she thinks that's the case. So she's obviously given birth and he's thrown prime lunch leaves all because of marketing, because he's a scumbag scoundrel, because he thinks loads of people are interested in him having a child. If you're interested in and Logan Paul having a child, shut up. Just shut up. No, he's the most annoying human being. I just want to, going back to the Dan TDM, I forgot to show this. Apologies. I'm a re- I'm an absolute sausage. I'm an artard. I was going to say retard. I just said retard. Fuck, I'm going to get done. Okay, so I said, hey, yo, Dan TDM, why don't you come over to Sidecast? Let's talk this out like men because he commented and saying what's happened to people because KSI is pushing shit in a box. You know what I mean? I am on, I don't even like Dan TDM. You know, I've never, ever watched a video of his. True. Head on guard, bitch. But, you know, KSI, like, your song is flopped and you're crying about it. Like, he's not open to criticism. He can't take criticism. He's got to tweet and attack people and say, how dare you insult my products? How dare you make me feel this way? It's like, KSI, you've spent your whole career making people feel shit about themselves. You know I mean? Karma works in mysterious ways. And then I spoil it then, but the Tommy in it finally got a text back from his mentor, from his idol, from his hero, Logan Paul. Call me back. I think we should handle this like adults. He muted it. <laughs> That's what I do to my mom when she won't leave me alone. No, I'm kidding. That's what I do to my fucking girlfriend when I want some peace and quiet. God damn. He then said, call me back. I think we should handle this like adults. Which is funny coming from a man who filmed a dead person in the forest who scammed millions of people of millions of dollars. Uh, what else has he done? Oh yeah, brought out some shit in a box. You know what I mean? That He's probably going to find traces of rat poison in it at some stage of their lives. And he put, call me back. I think we should handle this like adults. There is nothing adult about this conversation. There is nothing adult about this. You've just given birth. You've had a child, correction, whatever you want to say. He's just had a baby. His mind, he should be deleting Twitter and YouTube for a month and looking after that kid and raising it well with his wife. You know what I mean? Instead, he's starting beef with a Minecraft YouTuber. Like, let's strip this down to its bare bones, down to its atomic level. Logan Paul, a known father, wrestler, is fighting with a Minecraft YouTuber because Logan Paul advertised Prime and labelled it as a Gaza conflict when really it was all just about selling Prime. He doesn't give a fuck about what's going on in there. He's probably got money and stocks in weaponry. You know people like that. Tommy in it obviously won. Uh, I mean, you should see the like ratio. You've probably seen it as I've gone on um, and he's gone. And then I'm not going to react to this because this is fucking hilarious and I respect him so much for doing it. He released a Tommy in it vape, inverted commas. You click on the link, it takes you to Rick Astley. I respect this man a lot. No interest in Tommy in its videos, but I respect the utter shithousery he has committed. Well done, my friend. You are a top man and you deserve this dub. I hope YouTube sends you a plaque saying, I beat Logan Paul. I mean, look at that. You man child, leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, he's absolutely thrashed him. I did like this. Why do you keep posting messages of me of being kind? Are you stupid? He is stupid. He's a thick, dumb, dumb, blonde, blonde. What do you expect from people like that? Look, Logan, um, it's just, you know, go look after your kid, mate. Take a year off again and fuck off. You know what I mean? Like, why are you here? KSI, Logan, you know, all these people have just taken huge L's in the past seven days. And it's quite satisfying to be a part of because they are trying to force these meals, force these products. And I'm not saying products is bad. You know what I mean, dude? It's Prime one to sponsor me, dude. I'll, dr- I'll delete this video right here, right now. I swear, God. Give me five mil and I'll put Prime bottles in my fucking pubes, bro. I... I'll be 100% prime. I'll put it in my blood. I will literally inject it. That was a joke. But obviously, there's nothing wrong with product placement. There's nothing wrong with like that. I don't care about that. But it's just the matter. You know what I mean? Why are you making a lunch for kids? Like, what the fuck do you know about health? Oh, I'm a boxer. You think your rich parents fed you them lunch leaves in a box as a kid? No. No way, man. No way. Anyway, that's all from me. I hope you're well. I'm doing okay. Thanks for asking. If you didn't ask, well, now you know. Good night. And hopefully I've ordered some headphones so I won't look so naked and horrible.